Today we're excited to share one of the best wildlife watching opportunities in Oregon, the sea lion caves on the central Oregon coast. It's America's largest sea cave, and in the winter it's usually home to dozens of sea lions. In today's video, we'll be sharing four essential things to know in planning your visit. Stay tuned till the end because we'll be sharing a list of other must-see places in the area. The first tip is to know where and when to go. The sea lion caves are on the central Oregon coast near the town of Florence, a little over three hours drive southwest of Portland. It's best to go in the winter since the sea lions are most likely to be in the cave in the winter months. In this video, we're visiting in mid-January. If you do go in the off-season, there's still a video about sea lions and a lot of cool sea lion exhibits. Here's a little bit more about what happens if you come in the off-season. So when we came to the sea lion caves a few months ago, there actually weren't any sea lions in it yet because it was off season. But um, that meant that they gave us a little bit of a discount and they also gave us a voucher so that when we came back, so that when we come back now, we get to go in for free. So looking forward to checking it out. Here's our voucher. So now for the second tip. Don't just rush down to the caves because there are often sea lions playing in the ocean on your way down. You may hear them anyway, even if you don't know to look out for them. And number three, masks are required if the pandemic is still going on when you visit, and remember to pack your binoculars if you have them. The cave is accessed by this cool elevator. See if there are any sea Follow the cave from the elevator exit down to the exhibit area and the sea lion cave itself will be on the left. These are stellar sea lions in the cave. The males can weigh over 2,000 pounds each and the females nearly 800 pounds. They can also have impressively long lifespans at up to 20 to 30 years. And for the last tip, this part of the Oregon coast is really spectacular, so make sure to check out the other nearby sites. Here's a small preview of other must-see places in the area.
see a couple of insects, but I haven't seen the plant actually eat them yet, but I saw a couple flying around. Thanks for watching Adventures with Holly and Brian. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more of the best of the Pacific Northwest and beyond. See you next time.